players, we now have live chat available for NBA 2K18 and NBA 2K19. If you have any issues with either of those games, go to support.2k.com and log in. That way you can directly chat with us. Yo, guys, 2K support is just preparing. Like the white wall of white walkers. What was it called? I haven't watched the show in a while. Do you remember last year? To start NBA 2K18, there was players being deleted for an entire month and everybody was losing their mind, and the only way 2K could make it up to people was to give them millions of VC. It was happening. If your player got deleted, some people got 5 million VC for one player, some people got 100,000 for four players. The real question is, how, one month into the game, do you already have four players? 2K support knows better this year. They're not gonna fall for the same trap. This year, they're preparing with a live chat. So that when something goes wrong with the game, you can fire all your insults at these guys. I feel bad for them. They didn't make the game. They just have to deal with all you angry people when you feel like you got finessed, taken advantage of. I'm out of, I'm out of synonyms. I wish I had long hair so I could like do this out in public. You know, you know like you go like, or you go like this. <laughs> Talking about taking advantage of people, there was this article that dropped that might, if, if the trend continues, spill some bad news for NBA 2K. Now, do you play my team? Did you used to play my team? Do you know what my team is? Have you seen a my team video? What have you been, you don't know about? Okay, all right, M most of you guys do, 90% of you guys do. The other 10%, Catch up. NBA 2K's pack system is a lot like gambling, obviously. In fact, I would argue it's worse than gambling because in gambling, you know your odds of winning something. When you open up a pack, they could they could make your odd 100% or 0% is behind a computer, so really you're just guessing. And there's always promises like 2K will say stuff like, oh, the pack odds are good on this one. Good pack odds, great pack odds, ladies and gentlemen. But there's no real way to test if there's great pack odds. I mean, you could. You could just open up a million packs and then use the statistical analysis to find this and that. But then they could just change it the next day. Anyway, uh, this article was dropped on Hypebeast.com. The owner of NBA 2K, 2K Games, has taken away elements of its microtransactions to be in accordance with the newly placed gambling laws in Belgium and the Netherlands. <laughs> This is funny. The changes, which will only be made to the game in those two aforementioned countries, make changes to the My Team packs, which have been described as gambling by the respective legal systems. There's even disclaimers before you get into the game. Like, do you remember, like, early on PS3, when you played a game, like, they used to remind you, like, yo, my guy, you can get epilepsy, right? Yo, don't play for too long, bitch. Something, your eyes gonna fuck up. They used to remind you about shit like that to give you fair warning before you get into the game. Now, they're giving you warnings saying, there's some gambling features in this game, and if you're a 12 year old, watch out, my guy, you might get addicted. I don't really gamble, because statistically, most people lose money, and I don't have an algorithm, and I'm not a try hard gambler, so I don't even want to lose money like that. I do, though, like seeing other people lose money, so I will watch poker on the television every once in a while when I'm at the gym or something. The Belgium Gaming Commission has stated that games which increase certain, Ah, you, you killed the vibe, man. You might be wondering, Agent, what changed in the game? What changes did 2K have to make to be in accordance with the law? My team packs would only be able to remain if players were only allowed to use in-game currency to purchase them, which means that you can't use your bread to pay for VC, which you then use to purchase them. So that means you have to purchase them using stuff that you earn in-game. My team points, coins? What do, you, what do you call them? I don't, I don't, listen, you know, I don't play my team, man. Which, I mean, ideally would be great for the rest of the world if, it, 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 really, if it depended on merit, if you open packs based on merit, but instead you could just pull out your pocketbooks and then if you're rich, you could just fling cash at them. And then, I mean, listen, I've heard stories of people spending tens and thousands of dollars and I am not exaggerating. So do you guys remember in my last video when I was like, oh, IGN always gets the first gameplay and then they're always so bad. Do you guys remember that moment? All right, uh, if you missed the last video, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. I was breaking down some NBA 2K19 gameplay, but apparently there's more stuff to be broken down, which I don't wanna do, because it's coming from IGN of all places. IGN put out this article said, NBA 2K19 makes a Heck of a first impression. Oh, it's not like we said that about all of the 2Ks every single year. So there was something interesting that Angry Joe said in one of his Madden reviews. Now, I don't even play Madden like that, but when I was watching his Madden review, I was like, they be treating y'all like that? And y'all stick...
He said this one thing. He basically said that IGN and all these GameSpot, these, these websites that review games, they get someone new to review the game every single year. Because if you reviewed the game in 2K14 and 15 and 16, you would know the generational problems. But if you're new to the game, you're oblivious to them. And so you're blinded by what everybody else sees. When we, get, when we get in the game, we'll know. If it's a blow-by and a snatchback and it's overpowered, we'll know. But if you bring in a reviewer for the first time who's playing NBA 2K19, he's gonna have nothing good things to He's gonna say it makes a heck of an impression. Now, that's not to say that 2K19 won't be a fantastic game. We don't know that yet. But I didn't think about that. Because year over year, they're using different people so that they can get new, fresh perspectives. But in reality, they just don't want franchise fatigue to set in. They don't want people to learn about those generational issues that have been plaguing the game. Anyway, they came out with all kinds of gameplay. Bucks versus Lakers, Warriors versus Rockets, Pelicans versus 76ers. And as you can imagine, one, not only is this on broadcast cam, because it's IGN. But if you see the game play, like, Jesus, these are the guys we let play the game early? These are the guys we let come back with footage. Yo, where is that footage Chris Smooth was talking about, man? I wanna see some of that, cause he could actually play. <laughs> hey, it's a good thing Reese's Puffs is back in the action. <laughs> First points of the night, and here we go. He's showing his initiative, trying to put his imprint on the game right off the gate. Dude, look at the gameplay. Look at them. Look at them. LeBron passes inside. To, they're going in the post with JaVale McGee. And then they took a contested hook. They got the rebound and put up a contested... Ah, oh, Lord, help me. Please. I am not exaggerating, because you're going to think I am when I say this. The AI showed a better demonstration of IQ than actual human beings here. And dozens of people sent me this, and they were like, Agent, you should probably focus on the AI, because... IGN is trash. I am headed to New York in 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm recording this pretty late. When I get there, I don't think Park is gonna be playable, but I do wanna come back with some footage. Okay, let's talk about that. All right, so last year when we went to the 2K event, they had the playground playable, and there was server issues, but we assumed like, yo, the game isn't even out yet. We gotta let them allow a little bit, right? Give them some space. But we got a chance to play the game, and it wasn't for long, right? I wish we got a chance to play for like seven, eight hours. In reality, I played for like 30 minutes. There was a whole lot of people, reporters, writers, YouTubers, devs, everybody was there. Now this year, if the playground is not playable, I assume we're just gonna be playing 5v5 again. Unless they let us play on the blacktop or something like that. And I've been hearing this criticism a lot. Rodney2k comes out and says, Park is gonna be our last news because it's the biggest thing we got. And then all the people that play on the playground or the park are like, yo, where is the news? The prelude is like a few days away and we still don't know what to expect. We don't have any information on anything. It's so weird that every other game mode and part of the game, all the other fans get information before their release. And they don't tell them all the news, right? They just give them a little bit, a little bit, right? And then they let them figure out the rest. And I, I mean, I, to be fair, that could be what 2K is doing. Maybe they're like, yo, let's let these guys figure it out themselves. There's lots of Easter eggs or this and that, and let, let them uncover it and drop these banger YouTube videos. We could do that too. Or maybe they're just not ready. So that's that's what a lot of people are saying. They're just not ready with the game. Which could also explain why 2K support is gearing up for World War III right now. <laughs> 2K, I'll give you one word of advice, man. Add some spice to your colors, all right? I don't want to see another gray playground, bro. I'm tired of gray. There's something, there's something in inherently dull about NBA 2K's colors. Now, the graphics look good, clean crisp, right? But yo, add like some color grading or something to do something, all right? I need the colors to pop, really pop. I want this playground to be full of life, man. And I want the option to travel to another playground or another park just so I can get a different scenery. So I don't have to look at the same thing all year because that gets boring, 2K. When I was playing 16, 15, 17, all the games previously, here's what I could do. If I was tired of playing Sunset Beach, I got on the mic, so I was like, yo, ladies and gentlemen, let's move to Old Town because I want a new scenery. And, and it just refreshes you. It gets you to play. Like, you see what I'm saying? Just do it, 2K, all right? Just do it. Anyway, uh, apparently they have some more bangers to release because Brian Mazik put out this tweet and said, got some big NBA 2K19 news coming later this week. I'm legit surprised. Great time to be a gamer, especially a sports gamer. Now, uh, do you guys remember when they were like, oh, Pro-Am News is gonna be so massive? All right, okay, one thing. I'm happy private matchmaking is in the game. I knew it was gonna be in the game already. I was looking for something more additional, something added so that I could be really excited about Pro-Am and I didn't get it. Now, there could be something there. They just didn't announce it, but I doubt that. And to be honest, let's be real about this. I'm, I'm 
I'm starting to doubt other people's excitement, bro, because they be getting me excited when they say they're excited, and then, like, the news comes out, and I'm like, bro, you got my hopes up. NBA 2K had to work on private matchmaking because one, it was already in the game if you consider like All-Star Team Up, my team has been in the game, right? But it, okay, Asian, but it wasn't in Pro-Am before it was because they had to develop it for the NBA 2K League. Now, I'm, can I tell you guys something? Now, I've, I've, I've been at NBA 2K League houses before. It was very buggy and glitchy. Sometimes it takes a lot of time to start up and there's a lot of issues and then you get in the game and it's lagging like crazy. So 2K, I hope you guys are ironed everything out. But if, 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 if everything is straight, private matchmaking is gonna be cool. But just keep in mind, it was already developed for the NBA 2K League. It wasn't like they went out of their way to create a new feature for us Prime guys, you know? Anyway, like, let's just take it for what it is. I expected more, but I mean, you can't be mad at private matchmaking, that's some good news. 2K, man, I hope, I hope you guys are really coming with it this year, man. I'm tired of just, I don't want my expectations met no more. I want it to be superseded. I want you guys to do something so massive that everybody's jaws drop. And not just because it's different, but because you guys really did something to transform the genre. You guys are so busy trying to make money the last few years that you guys are missing your main purpose, your main goal. The reason you guys got on top and you up everybody else and you took Lions market share was because you guys made a great product and you had a game mode called my career and ain't nobody have a game mode like my career at the time and it was transformative get back to doing that and you guys will take over and I get it 2k 2k is like agent did you know 2k 18 was the best selling 2k so really we broke back okay 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 calm down are you guys done are you guys done you'll sell more all right make a good product one that people are gonna buy over time. One that has an increasing player base because you guys come out with good creative content for the game. One that you guys don't just let die, but you actually support after the game's launch. And not just with patches, but with actual content. Hey, do that for me, and I'm gonna be incredibly excited. Ladies and gentlemen, if Mike, Wa Mike Wong, sorry, is at the NBA 2K event today, whoo, I'm getting him in a video, all right? And I think he's gonna be there because he was at the one last year. I'm excited. I can't believe he let me call him Mike Wang for all these years, only to find out his name is Mike Wong. Anyway, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. It should be a vlog of my time at the event, but we'll see how things go. I'm out. Peace.